Do you broadcast on the internet? If so, you could be breaking the law, but don't worry because we have got you covered. Here's everything that you need to know about stream licensing to protect yourself and your online radio station. A quick disclaimer, we recommend always consulting with qualified professionals or the relevant authorities for your country regarding copyright and licensing. The following suggestions aren't to be taken as legal advice, but instead to act as a stepping stone to get you to the right place. There are a lot of licenses available, too many to cover in this video, so we'll be looking mainly at USA and UK radio licenses. If you've not found the license you need by the end of this, then do let us know in the comments so we can point you in the right direction. Licenses in the USA fall under what's called a statutory license. It's defined as radio broadcasts that are non-interactive, so shows that can't be skipped or listeners can't select their own music. There are four primary licensing bodies that offer statutory licenses. ASCAP, BMI and SESAC collect royalties for public performances. So that's radio stations played in businesses, bars, shopping centres and educational institutes, etc, etc. They are the performance rights organisations responsible for collecting and distributing royalties. Essentially, they all do the same job, which is act as an intermediary between songwriters and music users to protect intellectual property. If you are broadcasting in public places, then you will need one of these licences. Sound Exchange is different from the other licensing bodies as it collects royalties for digital public performances. It's limited to transmissions over digital platforms. For example, if you are broadcasting your shows over the internet, then Sound Exchange will cover you. In the UK, licences are simplified so it's easier to set up. Unlike the USA, which calculates licence costs based on public performances, UK licences have one-off fees. There are two main licensing bodies, PPL and PRS. Both licences cover the use of music and collect royalties on behalf of the artists. However, each represents different rights holders and have separate licences terms and conditions. If you play music in a public place, like a cafe or a bar, then you need both PPL and PRS licences. PPL covers you for public broadcasts, whereas PRS covers you for the music you play. If you intend to broadcast music over the internet via an online radio station, then you will need both PRS, which is a limited online music licence, LOML, and PPL, a small webcaster licence. These are annual blanket licences that cover your online broadcasts. However, if you intend to broadcast copyright-free music or just talk radio, then you do not need a licence. If in doubt, contact the licensing body directly for either PRS or PPL. Now let's briefly run through a few other licensing bodies. So if you aren't based in the UK or the USA, we won't have mentioned the licensing body for your country. There's a few more on screen now and each one collects music royalties on behalf of artists. However, they may not all offer the right license for you. I recommend using this as a starting point to research and then get in contact with them for a bit more information. The license you get may not cover you for every country. Using geoprotection, you can restrict who can access your stream. This handy radio.co feature lets you block or allow listeners from any country. In your radio.co dashboard, go to settings, then security, then geoprotection area, and set where you want to allow or block countries. Allowing countries restricts access to everybody else, which is useful if your license is just for a specific country. Let's face it, the last thing you want to think about is licensing. At Radio.co, we understand that there can be legal hurdles when it comes to broadcasting your own shows, but there doesn't have to be. Our team of radio experts are always happy to help. We offer advice to point you in the right direction, whether it's the type of license you might need, equipment for mixing shows together, or marketing tips, there's something for everyone. Be sure to get in contact with us if you have any questions. Email us at studio at radio.co, tweet us at radio.co, or chat with us over the phone by booking a demo. For more tips like this, then be sure to stick with radio.co.